reason this has happened this evening is because when I heard there was going to be a 250th anniversary celebration by the city of Pittsburgh, I knew it would be pablum and bullshit. <laughs> and as I was walking through Squirrel Hill, I ran to Maurice Ricard and said, we should do an Alexander Berkman festival. So we quickly looked it up and discovered that it was 116 years ago to the day Mr. Berkman took his shot. Unfortunate, uh, they were most anarchists, they never took any pistol lessons, so he, he, he was not a very good aim. <laughs> so this evening is a culmination of a lifetime of living in a valley that once gave people incredible livelihoods and promised children from birth a job when they graduated from high school. That no longer exists. Because I remember as a kid that you could drive from the south side to Manessa and never see the river for the mill. And, uh, well, that's changed. So, this evening, I, would, I first want to thank uh, Matthew Rosenblum from the Music Department at the University of Pittsburgh for uh, helping sponsor this event, because, let's face it, they wouldn't even let this happen in my hands. <laughs> and, uh, also, we have an incredible, uh, wonderful bookstore in Bloomfield called the Big Idea Bookstore that has offered us a prize, two prizes, an Alexander Berkman t-shirt and a, a book of a collection of uh, Berkman writings. Um, one of the people had to run right now to the UPS store to try to get the, the t-shirt. So if you win it, we'll get your name and number and make sure you know the anarchists are always organized. Uh, and uh, so this evening at one point we'll have the Berkman Lookalike Contest. And the, the, point, the point of the Berkman Lookalike Contest has nothing to do with physical appearance. It's all attitude. So feel free. Uh, and, and, and we'll do it democratically. We'll put our hand above the each individual, and, and whoever gets the most applause wins the prize. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, oh, one, one of the other reasons I decided to do this is for years, my wife said, isn't it incredible that in all these places they do reenactments of the Civil War battles, you know, like Gettysburg. And she said, well, why don't they do reenactments of like the 1892 riot and still strike in, uh, in Homestead? And I said, well, you know, we, we should talk to Tony Buga because what we could do is do a zombie thing where those zombies all come back and march through the targets down in Homestead and like go through the merchandise and, you know, and then we could have some like cops on horseback that are also ghosts beating them, you know? And, you know, I think it'd be a big hit. Uh, Romero probably might even be attracted to it. So now that I've thrown this out in, in, the, in the public, perhaps Mr. Buga will 